Hey everyone, so today we are doing a very exciting video. This video is another video that's just like kind of hard to explain and like really hard to make into like one line for the title. Like whatever the title is right now, just know that I stressed about that for longer than I should have. But let me just give you a really quick rundown of what we're doing. So as you guys know, I have a mom. Her name is Mama Maples. That's what you guys like to call her. And she's a ray of sunshine. She's a breath of fresh air and she gets really into little things. Like the last couple months, she's been talking about this wardrobe capsule. So my mom's wardrobe pretty much is just t-shirts, jeans, and leggings. And there's nothing wrong with that. Like she's very, very cute. Her outfits are pretty basic, but like you don't really notice because she's just so cute. You know what I mean? But she has been talking about having an interest in this 30 piece wardrobe capsule. So how it works is it's 30 basic pieces that are very versatile and pretty neutral. And apparently that's all you need in your wardrobe. And then on the side, there's a few added, I think 10 pieces for summer, 10 pieces for winter. And like accumulatively, that could be your entire wardrobe. And it's supposed to like check every box of every occasion all within those few pieces. So it sounds very interesting. And she's been wanting to like redo her wardrobe. And like her idea was that she was gonna follow this thing. Okay, one of the pieces is a black t-shirt. So she would take one of her black t-shirts and then just basically go through her closet and try and get the extra pieces that she's missing. I'm sure you guys are following this so far. But one of the things I've really started enjoying doing is surprising my mom. So after she's been so interested in this wardrobe capsule, I was like, let's make a video about the wardrobe capsule and let's just go and buy her a whole brand new wardrobe following the guidelines of this capsule. So that's what we're gonna be doing today. So yeah, I'm basically gonna clear out her entire closet. I'm gonna take all her clothes away and donate them. And then I'm gonna surprise her with an empty closet. We're gonna go to the mall, get every single individual piece of this wardrobe capsule list, including winter because winter is coming very quickly. And then she's gonna have to style it for a month and see if she can do it. See if these products are versatile enough, products are neutral, they make good enough outfits for every occasion for a month. And then we're gonna see how the wardrobe capsule actually fits and if it's a reasonable thing to do, something that maybe you guys would want to try. So yeah, I'm super excited because this video is kind of like a win-win. I get to surprise my mom and also try a cool concept and see if it's something that you guys would be interested in or worth trying. The first step is I gotta head out to my home, get into my mom's closet and empty it out. I think that's the first thing we should do. So I could ramble on a lot longer. Like I'm in a very talkative mood, but I'm gonna stop myself and let's head to my mama's closet. All right, sorry for the absolutely terrible lighting. It's really rainy out today. What's new? My mom's closet is in the room directly where I'm pointing. As far as she's concerned today, we are doing the 30 outfit pieces for me. She really wants to do it. She said like, can I pick up a few things when we're at the mall and like all this stuff? And I was like, no, <laughs> just me. <laughs> so so this will be a pleasant surprise. All right, we are in my mom's closet. The lighting is literally dreadful in here. And this window literally doesn't do anything. It's just like up against the garage. Sorry, okay, I will apologize again for the lighting. But here is my mom's closet. This is my dad's side, so we're gonna ignore that. Lots of plaid, lots of stripes. But this is my mom's side. So as you guys can see, there is a lot of t-shirts in here. Um, I feel like my mom wasn't super interested in clothing until uh, all her kids like got a little bit older and then she started focusing on herself a little bit more. And she was like, oh, I like clothes. I like shopping because as I was growing up, it was like, that was nothing. And now she like really enjoys shopping. Like anytime we go to Costco, she's like, let's go in the clothing for a bit. So this is like very exciting to finally treat her to a little bit of new clothes. And just the other day she was getting ready for her anniversary with my dad, 32 years by the way. She like didn't have anything to wear. And I was looking through all her stuff trying to find her an outfit. And yes, she has like a bunch of t-shirts, but she doesn't have very much like going out or like semi dressy outfits. So I'm very excited. She's got a lot of pieces that she might want to keep, but for the point of this video, I'm gonna get rid of everything. She's upstairs right now, she has no idea. So here we go, we got a little t-shirt t-shirt, t-shirt, t-shirt. Catch my mom in t-shirts. I'm literally just gonna go and hide all this stuff. I don't think I'm gonna be giving it back to her. If there's a few piece she, pieces she wants, then fine, she can have them back, but I'm taking away most everything. T-shirt. Oh my goodness, she has so many t-shirts. The other day she was like, I need a couple more t-shirts.
every mom needs a juicy couture sweatsuit. That was a big thing for a while. Okay. My mom is also actually going on a anniversary trip for like a week with my dad and she's not gonna have any of her regular clothes. She's gonna have to make do with the stuff that we buy today. Jeans. She doesn't even wear jeans. All right, so there we go. Her closet is completely empty. That's her pajamas. <laughs> Complete, oh, that's her underwear. Gosh, she has clothes on every corner here. This is full of clothes. Oh my goodness, remember the part where he said my mom has no clothes? She's tricking us all. Oh my goodness, okay, thank goodness we found that. So as far as she's concerned, all of her stuff is gone. And she has to wear this for a full month. You guys will see the outfits that she styles, but I'm gonna call her down here. All right, hopefully she'll just bust it. Is this her stuff? I mean, there's pajamas, it's okay. <laughs> Anyways, okay, so I'm going to go get her. Where's all your stuff gone? <laughs> Get in here. You are such a brat. I knew I should have gotten done my hair and gotten ready for the day. I thought you were just getting ready today and now I'm like not even ready. No, mom. When someone doesn't stop talking about something for three months, here on this channel we make it happen. Today we have a lot of work to do. Oh no. We're going on a shopping spree. Jeez. Because you have no clothes. <laughs> so, mom. Oh, and why do you do this to me? You're so 30 piece wardrobe <laughs> plus 10 for fall winter. We're getting it for you today. <laughs> and you're going to have to wear it for a month. I'll wear it all winter. You'll get so sick of me wearing these same clothes. <laughs> I've been looking at this for months wondering if this will really work. <laughs> Should I look through my closet and grab? Your closet's gone. This is gonna take forever. My mom is so specific about the clothes she buys. So we're gonna have to like to find a freaking white or black denim pair of pants. That's gonna take hours. So let's go to the mall. Oh my gosh, you're such a rascal. <laughs> yeah. All right, let's okay. go. Because we get no sunshine, I have to take D drops. Um, this has always been the flavor. <laughs> I've had my dose of sunshine. I honestly was feeling like I had this idea to do this like wardrobe thing. Uh -huh. And you were like so interested and wanted to do it for yourself. It made me feel like I really had some good idea. I'm like, Mia's even excited to do this. <laughs> Mia wants to do this. And then she's going to check it out and let me know how it works out. And I'm just... Just like I thought I had the real bomb and idea you did. and then when you but when you were doing it for yourself yeah, I still think it's a good idea. But I just think who needs more clothes in it out of the two of us? <laughs> you do. Oh yeah. my goodness. Wow. We will talk to you guys when we get there. There's going to be a lot of vlog footage. Just get ready for the rampage that is us at the mall, especially when we're shopping for my mom. Like, it just seems like when we're shopping for me, like, I choose things really quick and I'll just buy them. My mom, oh, she needs to think about it. She always needs to think about it for a long time before making a purchase. So, this will be all day. But okay, so we're at the mall. We're gonna have a little bit of vlog footage of us shopping. Game is freaking on. We have so much stuff we have to get and like, my my mom is so, <laughs> so particular, so this should be really interesting. You think you're an odd shape? I'm an odd shape. <laughs> like, I'm hard to fit. Nothing odd like, about being thick. This is like the ideal rainy day. You wake up thinking it's like you, you got your to-do list, and then all of a sudden, boom, you're heading to like a beautiful huge mall, and you've got like a whole list of things to get. Like this is like one of the best days ever, so. Wow, okay. <laughs> well, let's go about it then. Wait okay. no longer on the best day ever. <laughs> when people think about getting a new wardrobe, you don't usually go out and buy like a new wardrobe. But I think the inkling is I put off shopping because I'm like, maybe I'll lose a few pounds. Maybe I won't be this size. Maybe 
you know, the season changes yeah. before I actually go and do it. So then I just kind of, I feel like I had gotten rid of lots of clothes, but I haven't gotten very many clothes. I live in comfy clothes. So I feel like I'm a schlappadinka at heart. Maybe I'm just a big couch potato. And when I go out, I have nothing to wear. <laughs> like, Mom, party dress. <laughs> I love this. I think it's Do you nice. love it? Because that's the thing. You gotta love it. You can't like it. I. Th this is a nice, this is what they call a crew neck sweater, right? Yeah, and you needed one. Yeah, do you think this makes it not? No, I think that's cute. Yeah. I think that's fine. And then these are the Jamie jeans, which are my favorite style. I like, these jeans are super comfortable. Yeah. And I like that they're not gapping at the back. Yeah, no, that is good. Yeah. No, those fit you really well. They actually do. These are um, a maybe even just in this size. Okay. Those are a love. These are a love. Because they say love, not light. I love. I could live in these jeans. I love the Jamie's too. Oh, they fit you perfect. Oh, they feel like leggings. I'm so hot. <laughs> we just struck out at our second store and I want everything she tried on. <laughs> so, there's that. Those are cute. They are really cute. I, they're so oh, yeah, soft. And top. They're soft and comfy and then it's a white flowy top. What do you think though? It's a little sheer. It is pretty sheer. Are you a Madden girl? We'll find out. <laughs> I like these though. Those are cute. They are cute. Just a little upgrade. <laughs> If we look a little different, it's because it's day two of shopping. We didn't get it all done yesterday, so we're shopping again today. And honestly, it might take all day. I think we could do it in like two or three hours. Honestly. Are you psycho? <laughs> I'm putting this tighter crew neck shirt over my bulky shirt. Oh, I love it. It goes over my head. It's stretchy. I hate things that are too tight around my neck. I like to put over my head. Oh, that's nice. The actually. arms are long enough. Usually, arms are too short for me. And I love the way this knot looks. Under. Could you do? <laughs> You're a gap girl. I am. I love gaps. It's like uh, not super duper expensive, but it's like predictable. I like predictable. <laughs> I know. I like to know what I'm getting. Oh yeah. Wow. Yeah, you need a black denim. Is this the front? Yes. <laughs> I don't think <laughs> oh my gosh, we just finished. We have the last bag drop. Wow. That was a lot of shopping. That was like, like way more, way more brain power to like remember what yeah. we're missing and like, where's my list? I want to I think you stepped on it. You Here's crunched my list. it out. There's my freaking list. We got great stuff. Oh, so much cute stuff for you. I cannot wait. There's gonna be so many different outfits. Yeah. Now that we're done shopping, we are gonna head back home and my mom is gonna try everything on and show you guys. And then she's gonna have to go a month Maybe. styling everything. So we'll see how versatile these actually are. So yeah. we'll see you yeah. back home to do a little haul and try on haul. Yeah, sounds good. I'm excited. All right, you guys, so the last time that you saw us, we were exhausted from shopping, <laughs> which is like the biggest first world problem. So I'm not even gonna like give that anything because that is so lame. But anyways, so now we are here and excited to do a little haul try on. It's like a capsule, it's a guideline. So like if you have these 30 pieces for the season, you should be set. So it should be easy to mix and match things. It honestly should be easy. I think a lot of, I, like so many more people have like way less clothes than this. So you wanna start it off? Oh yeah, I do. Mommy, I need you to grab one <laughs> of your dark wash denims. Okay. You Usually jean shopping is like a full day event for me, so totally. we, this was a big deal to find jeans that fit. These are the Jamie jeans from Topshop. If you have problems with like gapping at the back of the jeans, like if it's tight on like the booty and then gapping above mm -hmm. it, try these jeans. They hug like a lot better without being too tight. Mm -hmm. I could get them over my thighs because usually if I get them over my thighs, they're like sticking out at the back. Yeah, no, this fit is really nice because you're very curvy and I'm very like a twig and they fit both of us <laughs> great too. I like this. Yeah, that's really stylish. Boyfriend, right? Well, what we did, we improvised because I am a 
mom. So instead of the boyfriend, we got the mom jean, which fits the loops, and I think that's what they're after. Boyfriend jeans and mom jeans, I still have yet to figure out what the difference is. Yeah. So they're just basically a looser fitting jean. These are from Hollister. They're yeah, these very are really cute. cute. They're high waisted, and I love that they have this belt so that with that gap thing at the back, you can cinch them at the waist. Totally. Yeah. Now we need the colored or patterned jeans. So there's okay. two pairs. Okay. So we went with a colored a plaid, colored I love jeans. Plaid. You yeah. love plaid. I yeah, I totally love plaid. We're so glad it's in style now. These came from Hollister. Yeah, and these are actually like super super stretchy. They're more like pants. Like they felt comfortable, right? Oh yeah, they're very comfortable. Yeah, very very cute. stretchy. I'm so glad plaid is in style this year. Whew, what a relief. <laughs> <laughs> and the next colored pants were these, uh, kind of a khaki green, and these came from Topshop again. These are kind of like a paper bag pant style, white or black denim. Yeah, we went with the black. And these are the Jamie jeans again. These are full length though. Yeah, these yeah. are 32s. The others yeah. are 30s, so they're a little cropped. Dress pant, neutral wide leg trouser. Yeah, so we went with this. Uh, these are so cute. I got these too. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, oh, I need them. We're going to be twins. So yeah, these, these are so cute. I'm sorry. I don't want to interrupt, but like, oh my gosh, these are so these cute. Are, and, and they're so very, soft. very wide legs. You, you can, can dress these up and dress these down. I was just going to say that exact thing. Oh Whoa. my god. That's it for pants. Six pants. Yeah, six pairs of pants. Also, we figured out halfway through this, we have no idea who made this concept <laughs> up. And we have no idea who wrote this, but we like literally made this whole concept behind this. So shout out to the person who made this idea and made this a thing. We're trusting it. <laughs> We're trusting it entirely. <laughs> But uh, my bougie mom got a Lululemon black tank top or black tee because well, you need a black t-shirt. And can we not say like uh, when you cleaned out my closet, I had almost all t-shirts. Like true. I've gotten to a thing where I just buy a new t-shirt all the time. So like if I on this sheet, I have like one regular t-shirt yeah. and then a colored t-shirt. So it was like. It has to be my go-to. It has to be very good. So I ended up getting a little lemon black t-shirt. Yes. <laughs> and you know what? She'll wear it a lot because usually... When you get something at Lululemon, since it is kind of expensive, usually it's got to be something that you would wear quite a bit, like a basic. And I think a black t-shirt for you makes sense. Yeah. So now we need a flowy white top. Okay. So we picked this from Hollister. This is cute. Oh yeah, it's really cute. It's very white and very flowy. <laughs> Has a cute little. What do the sleeves look like? Oh, yeah, nice. they're kind of that. like puffy. Colored or patterned tee. Yeah, we just went with a nice. This is actually the last thing that we picked up, and we were both going like absolutely crazy in the store. Like, yeah, we were just like running around trying to find it. <laughs> it was insane. I, I couldn't even think anymore. I'm like, just be a picket. Yeah, but I you, cannot think. When you've been at the mall for like an accumulated like twelve <laughs> hours or like more, it definitely starts to get really weird. Like. You start to just want to get home. Now we need a white tunic or blouse. Okay. So oh my gosh, I love this. I, I forgot about this. Yeah. This is from H and M, you guys. Oh yeah. H and M came through for us big H &M time. H did come yeah. through for us. It's like a white blouse, but it has these little ties. Yeah. So you can tuck it into pants, or you can tie it up in a knot. Mm -hmm. I think that this is a really nice top, and this is something like you don't have, and I feel like you'll get a lot yeah, of wear. Yeah. It's out like of a it. dress shirt, but it's like super comfortable and flowy. Colored or pattern shirt. Okay, this is our pattern shirt. This Colored. is from Abercrombie and & Fitch. And you guys, I forced my mom to get this. I because suspect this will be missing out of my closet. <laughs> <laughs> this is so cute. It's silk. And it's got like this little uh, gapping right here, which is kind of early 2000s-esque. But I just thought this would be so nice tucked into anything. And with like the blazers and the moto jackets and everything that you guys are going to see later. You just don't even understand how much this shirt's going to be good and it makes my mom's eyes pop. Aww. I tried to get things that weren't too hot because my mom is the queen of hot <laughs> flashes. True. So some things, some things that are light are like really nice. Neutral pattern shirt. There we go. I'm excited about this one. This one screams you and this is from The Gap. It's very soft. Yeah. It's almost like a, a cotton flannel. Yeah. Yeah. It's really nice. Yeah. It's kind of like a flannel but a little bit more 
dressy, I feel like. Because mm -hmm. it's not like um, usual checkered print. Yeah. And it's nice and thin. A chambray shirt. Oh, so yeah. I didn't know what that was for a long time. Up. Yeah, we had to look it up. <laughs> I actually <laughs> have one, but I didn't know what it was. It's very cute. So I like these paired open with shirts. And then like if you get hot, you feel that hot flash coming on. You yeah. just rip it off. You need a neutral long sleeve tee. I think we went with this. Yeah, that's from The Gap. Yeah. This is really nice and soft. Just, I really like this. We thought navy was neutral enough. Yeah, yeah navy is a neutral in my opinion. <laughs> We're going with <laughs> that. <thought> so. <laughs> okay, and now a colored or patterned long sleeve tee. So yeah, okay. we stripes. Yeah. This is a cute top too. This reminds me of you. This is from H&M as well. I like if you just cover your face and then it's just me. <laughs> Bonus! The bonus top. Show oh, us what you yeah. got. I was not even thinking I needed the bonus because yeah, I had already it. got so many. But it's my favorite color. Yellow. That's why I was so excited to get it. I like it. I like the pockets on the front. I think that will be a really cute statement tucked into jeans. Oh, yeah. I love this color. And it's kind of like a mustardy yellow. It's not like a super bright yellow. That's totally your yellow. Yeah. Very cute. Yeah, yeah mine's love you. It. First, there's a lightweight long sleeve card. Again. Yeah. Ooh, this is from Hollister. This is so cute. cute. <laughs> <laughs> so it's not your usual cardigan because it's actually like rather short. I always think of cardigans really long, but this one's not as much. And it's a and nice knit. It looks chunky, but it isn't. Solid neutral crew neck. Okay, solid neutral. Oh yeah, that was this. Okay, yeah, this is nice. Yeah, neutral gray. We would this try to get enough pattern. <laughs> this, the pattern is the stripes and the texture on this sweater. Yeah. Yeah. I think we'll let it fly <laughs> because that's what my mom wanted and this is like more of a normal cardigan It's nice and pink and it's longer now. You need a heavy sweater cardigan or wrap yeah, this is the heavy sweater. Oh yeah, this is kind of like the last thing, but it's more of an oatmeal color. Yeah. And it's got cute brown buttons. Oh yeah, I love this color. Very versatile. I love that it's got so soft too. Yeah. Nice big pockets and skirts. And this one was actually, I thought it was gonna be the hardest, but it was actually decently easy. Yeah, yeah so we have the little black dress. <laughs> Not the long black dress, the little black dress. <laughs> I can't believe I've never heard LBD. <laughs> <laughs> it's got these like little poles right here where you can tighten it around the waist, which is really nice to hug the waist in, give some shape. Yeah, and you can't really see, but it's got kind of um, almost like thin little stripes on it. Like yeah, the like texture. actually made into the fabric. Yeah, like it's textured. Yeah. I love this dress. And then a party dress. Yo! <laughs> party! We love this <laughs> Dress. It's a jumpsuit, but you know what? It's a party jumpsuit, and this is so <laughs> we improvise nice. because there's a lot of jumpsuits in style right now, and it has a very cute zipper at the back. This is so nice on you. It's got honestly. kind of this lace at the top, and it's a little mesh. Okay, now we have a neutral maxi skirt. That's this one. I love this. Okay, this really reminds me of when we went to Japan. We went to Tokyo, and Tokyo style loves the silk skirts. When we were there, like it was like everyone we would see casually wear these and I want one so bad and now you have one before me crazy but <laughs> black or neutral pencil skirt okay, this pencil it. skirt fit you really well yeah this was kind of like an unexpected find too because mm -hmm. it's like a and I like that it's a high-waisted and it has a nice little tie this tie is actually really um conveniently placed because if you have a little bit of stomach the knot can be like right <laughs> over that to just cover it yeah. it's really strategically placed that's right so i i really like it for that <laughs> got the pattern skirt yeah. this is really oh cool. yeah this it's, is from gas so cute it's a button up and it's a little polka dot navy and white. Yeah, I'm like who doesn't love polka dots? It's super soft and really flowy. Okay, now we've got the casual long sleeve dress. This is super, super nice. I love the cut of the neck. You'll see when my mom is trying it on, mm -hmm. but it's super nice. It's like a shirt dress. Okay, and then the last dress skirt is a heavy skirt or sweater dress. Yes. So we got this. This was a sweater dress with short sleeves. It's a great compromise for somebody who's always hot yes and it has sure. a big long zipper in the back and cheetah print is like really in right now mm -hmm. so this is kind of like a toned down cheetah print so i, I like it because it's not so in your face okay so now we're on to jackets so there's a classic jean so we ended up getting a black jean jacket because my mom has never had a black jean jacket yeah so we thought it would be good to change it up a little bit especially with wearing blue jeans i tend to like to wear black jackets mm -hmm. so i thought you might like it too this one's from gap it's really nice yeah and i thought because i'll be wearing the 
chambray shirt open. It's kind of denim looking. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Oh my gosh, I love this one. This is so cute. Yeah, I literally it's, love this. This yeah. is from H&M as well, you guys. Like, it's so nice. It's a nice, thin fabric. I don't know what this fabric is, honestly, but look at it. It looks like so silky yeah. and so pretty. I think yeah. it will go really well with a lot of the shirts yeah, too. too. And then we need a crop moto jacket. This was from Dynamite? It was! Yeah, it's a gray leather. The thing about uh, a moto jacket, I could never get like a black moto jacket. I think we were saying this earlier. Yeah. Anything that's like a vest or a moto jacket, I just can't wear them. Like, but this in a nice soft gray, I think it'll be... It's definitely like a faux leather, but it's softer. Yeah. And then a neutral blazer. See, it really Ooh. covers everything. I really yeah. feel like when you go shopping for stuff, you don't really realize what you're getting or what you're missing, whereas this makes sure you cover all the bases. Yeah, it's a great guide. Yeah. We so think. We'll see we in, think so. We'll see in a month. It sounds good. <laughs> so yeah, this is the blazer we picked. So super nice. Again, a color we haven't really dove into, so I think mm -hmm. it'll be nice to have, like, if you're wearing all neutral, then just a little pop with this baby felt. Like, that's yeah. kind of what it feels like. Yeah. And it's this little um, jacket. I don't know. I call these, like, kind of, like, suit jackets or dress jackets. Yeah, I, I can't read what that says. <laughs> Kind of style where it's a raw edge for the hem, which I really like. I think that's really cute. Cute. Yeah. Again. Cute. It's kind of a powder gray, which is different. All right, now we're on to the shoes. So there was one, two, three, four, five basics, and then three added for the fall month. So let's start off with the nude heel. Y'all, this bum, nude bum, heel. Bum, bum. <laughs> we had some discrepancy in getting this because <laughs> I get it. Like, I get why this is the nude heel we chose because it's comfortable and, like, right. wearable. But, like, I love to just go ba-boom with right. heels. But whatever. These are, like, we kind of compromised our love not like on these because... I love shoes, but I have to be able to wear them. Totally. So, like, that's yeah. where I have to love the comfort of them because I'm not going to wear uncomfortable shoes. They're very comfortable. I like that they're shiny. And that's all I have to say about them. <laughs> okay, so next we have the black pump. It, they're just like the nude, but a little bit higher, so I like them a little bit more. Yeah. Nothing against a small heel. I just think that it really elongates the leg to have them a little higher. Yeah. So I like these, and they're like a velvety feel. Yeah, these are really cute. Okay, and then needed a leopard colored or patterned flat Ooh. so snake skin they are very very trendy looking they are trendy looking yeah. good wording <laughs> I like the snake skin I also like that style mm -hmm. I think that it's kind of like an everyday but it definitely looks like you put some effort into your outfit yeah I like the zippers on them too colored tennis shoe these are very <laughs> cute <laughs> Couldn't get away from it. I'll get a lot of wear out of those. Yeah, they're cute. They're yeah. kids. And they're comfortable. I've never had kids before, so. I've had kids. They're really comfortable. We have the neutral wedge. Neutral wedge. Okay, we went with black as neutral. And their wedge and their closed toe. Yes. So we thought nice. it would be nice for colder yeah, yeah, it's kind of like wearing like a little black booty with a dress or something, but it's a wedge. We Google searched and technically the heel makes it a wedge, so it yeah, can be a, a wedge Yeah, we thought wedges were always sandals, but yeah. we were wrong. Yeah. It just, it's basically just if the heel is... Yeah. Yeah, but these are bobs, by the yeah, way. Yeah, which I think is kind of neat to try. So now we have the tall riding oh, boots. Yeah. I love wearing these in the winter time. Mm -hmm. I like wearing them with like knee-high socks just sticking out the top. These are nice. You're going to get a lot of wear out of them. My mom actually already has a pair that were mine so now she has a pair of her own yeah yeah okay and now we need some ankle boots so cute look at those yeah I literally love those I love that the heel is like a big chunky heel that way you're not worried about like falling over yeah. and stuff and then also the colored wedge or heel wow what a good colored wedge <laughs> this yeah. is a really cute sandal wedge which is kind of what I think of when I hear wedge mm hmm yeah, with the open toes. I am really surprised with all the neutrals. Like, that's the other thing. When I would buy, you know, one edition, I would usually buy, like, repeats of what I had, but I wasn't, didn't have so many basics that were all neutrals. Yeah, you for know? sure. I think that the basic colors 
make them more versatile. Mm -hmm. So honestly, this is a challenge for you to wear for a month, but I think it will be more fun than anything. Yeah. So from here moving forward, my mom has all this clothes at her disposal. That's what she gets to wear. And she's going to show you guys her outfits for the next month, just little clips. And then we're going to see how it all went. So mom, do you think you can handle it? Oh yeah. Can I live off 30 pieces of clothing and just like simplify yeah. my closet a lot? And clearly we can put it together, but mm -hmm. the real question is then will it work yeah so this will be a real test just to see like how is it all right so yeah. we're gonna flip to my mom wearing these for a month <laughs> let's see what kind of outfit she can put together let's flip to that okay <laughs> hey guys so I am heading out wearing some of my new clothes I just have to run to like the hardware store so I do feel maybe a little overdressed just to go to the hardware store I have to buy some hangers not very good at vlogging. <laughs> hey guys, so today this is my outfit. It's these plaid pants, these little ankle boots, long sleeve crew neck sweater, very thin sweater, and a black jean jacket. Feels way dressier than what I normally wear. Like it looks dressier, but it doesn't actually feel dressy because these pants are stretchy. Okay, so here is my outfit today. It's just very casual. My black t-shirt, which I know I'm gonna probably wanna wear too much. I love this outfit, it's super comfortable. Okay, so another day with another new outfit. So today I just had an appointment to run and uh, a little bit of shopping and I have my nice uh, cropped dark denim jeans. It was kind of chilly out this morning so I finally got a chance to wear the trench coat. So it is awesome. Okay, so here I am with another outfit. It's the black skinny jeans with the black wedge bobs and then the camp chambry <laughs> shirt so here we are okay hey guys so today it's another day another outfit day and today we are just heading out for supper so this is my outfit for going out for supper today i actually went fishing so i had these nice comfortable mom jeans on yeah here's my outfit today just got some leggings on it and some little jacket and my dress <laughs> Hello! Look at what I'm wearing today! I'm wearing a dress! Here's my <laughs> Very nice. I feel as comfy as you look though, I gotta say. What's that supposed to mean? <laughs> So here it is, it's Sunday, I'm wearing another outfit. It's like a pretty casual, just went to church and out for breakfast. And it's the white flowy top, the snake skin shoes. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> print dress which I love there's the print all right you guys so it has officially been a month I hope you guys enjoyed all those little outfit shots that my mom <laughs> took they were all I didn't see her doing them so I don't know what she did until I'm editing so hopefully they're good I'm gonna apologize right off the bat that'll be a lot of editing <laughs> to do. I'm not very good at doing awesome. that yeah I I know I'm not. As long as you showed off your outfits, I'm happy. It doesn't matter how you did it. I hope so. Also, <laughs> one other thing that my mom has to address is she has a black eye. It's just healing up. I poked my eye in a mo into a music stand. Yes. On my so, way to symphony. Park. Nobody worry if you're worried about my mom's black eye. Nothing bad happened. She just like leaned forward and stuck her face into a music stand. <laughs> Nothing too serious, just a clumsy thing to do. <laughs> so now that my mom has tried this wardrobe capsule for 30 days, I feel like you have a lot better of an idea and understanding of if it's mm. one, useful, two, a good idea. Three, was it easy to find outfits? Tell us what you think, mom. This is like a talk show. <laughs> okay. Well, first of all, it was a great way to clean my closet out. My yeah. closet had a whole bunch of stuff that I had accumulated. This is way more simple to have like... Yeah, your fewer... closet looks less like... 
filling over. Mm -hmm. And there's like, it's so easy to pick what you're going to wear with fewer items. Yeah. Easier to put outfits together. Yeah, see, and the one thing for everybody watching is you don't have to go out and get mm -hmm. everything. My idea was, because I was going to try it now because my mom really liked it, <laughs> so I was going to just go through my closet and, oh, I have a t pattern t-shirt. I'll use that, this, and then just buy the things that I don't yet have. Because mm -hmm. a lot of people's closets will already have almost like all these pieces, I feel like. Yes, and you just spoiled me to bits by getting me all the new things we, and I think it either if it was your way to not go into my closet because it was so bad but it was like super fun and exciting and I felt very spoiled so thank you you're welcome <laughs> so yeah that was super fun buying all the new items and there's a few rules to it too you definitely needed a little shopping spree going through your closet I was genuinely surprised because like she's so cute no one notices her outfits <laughs> But it really is just t-shirts and leggings, which there's nothing wrong with that, but I feel like you need a little bit of differences. Like, it was really t-shirts and leggings every single day. It and then was. when when she would get invited to a wedding or something, we were, like, running around the house like, what is she going to wear? She has nothing. She has nothing to wear. Honestly. It is true. It showed me, because, like, for the first few days, I was, like, in t-shirt withdraw because I was like, where's my t-shirt? Immediately, like, I didn't know how I was going to handle just having like two t-shirts in my yeah, closet honestly. so it, it does force you to wear something that's maybe a little bit more dressy a little more put together yeah because I was worried genuinely when yeah. we were looking at all the pieces I was like yeah everything's super cute but like where are the t-shirts <laughs> where are the basics <laughs> give three pros and three cons of the wardrobe capsule like about the experience too but like a lot of the pieces okay so I would say one of the biggest pros would be just like decluttering my closet. Boom, so, that's one. Yeah. Need less storage space, easier to find stuff in your closet. Pro number two, it's easy to find things to wear. So it saves you time and it's kind of, it's fun to put your outfits together. I would say it really... My mom's reading off a script that she... <laughs> If anyone like is wondering why she keeps looking back there, it's because she wrote out like little points on a whiteboard so that she didn't get caught up. <laughs> and she's really using it as a crunch, like big. Um, what would I say? Um, <laughs> oh, I know. I think that just being able to get you only can pick, you know, so many pieces of an individual kind of outfit that it really focuses then on you got to figure out what you actually like to wear. And mm. then you figure out your style better because I didn't realize, you know, I had a bunch of mismatch of things that didn't really go together, but it makes you and forces you to figure out like what you want to wear and what you're... <laughs> okay. Yeah. Does that make sense? <laughs> <laughs> now you need three negatives oh my my because this will be good indicators to people at home if they want to do it or not three negatives because i think oh. one negative would be if you're going on a hike or if you're going like something active there's no clothes within this wardrobe for something active so you do need active clothes on the side and okay opinion. well that's true because uh this outfit this capsule is your clothes your shoes and your outerwear mm -hmm. but the athletic clothes and the like jewelry and accessories and pajamas and that those are considered basics that okay. they're already taking into account that you have so those things you should already have oh well that answers my negative. exactly so i'm still counting it though okay yeah that's that's good. Well, we didn't realize that at the beginning. Because it means I you will that. not have 30, just 30 pieces in your wardrobe. These are just like the 30 day to day. You still need like activity wear. You need pajamas too. You need pajamas. You need, and socks. You know, like that's not included. True. Like that kind of things you just need. And a purse. We didn't have to do it this way, but the cost involved if you were then having to go out and like initially buy yeah. all the outfits that's definitely a negative mm -hmm. yeah. if like say you want to do this but you're missing like six pieces then you have to go and get those yeah that would be expensive so that is one negative but if you want to do substitutes that could work too yeah and there's always like you can go to a secondhand store and you can look through your closet that's or true. you can borrow from a friend this would be a really so. cool thing to do from thrifting oh exactly you could if buy you guys want to see that i could do that that would be a great idea 
idea. Video idea. Yay, I like that. <laughs> that was lame. <laughs> Your hand felt like it's so limp. One of the things is a party dress and a black dress. So and if you don't, you don't, <laughs> you don't go to any, you're not invited to any parties. Or you, you don't, might not use it. You might not use like that. So it You makes, will eventually it though. Makes around me, Christmas time, yeah. you're going to use it 100%. You just didn't use it yet. It makes me see how I don't go to parties. If you don't go out... <laughs> You might not need the party yeah. dress. So I'm like, somebody invite me somewhere. So negative is it makes you realize you don't party. Where are you looking? I don't know. Look at the camera. I, are you looking at the camera? <laughs> well, just the lens. Okay. Like, go look at what you were looking at before. Yeah, like, what are you doing? It looks like... <laughs> It looks like you're looking up. You're like, yeah. <laughs> okay, but all around, it was a fun experience. Oh, it was so much fun. Yeah, like, I'm, I'm happy. Honestly, it's way easier. When I work... <laughs> Like, when I was working, like, I worked over 30 years in the dental office. So I wore scrubs to work, like, every day, day she after day. So then I, it's nice to have all the pieces to put the outfit together. And that's what the capsule said it was going to do, mm -hmm. and it mm -hmm. did. So we give did. it a thumbs up. Totally. Two thumbs up. Four. All right, guys, so that has been my mom's brand new wardrobe, trying the 30-piece mm -hmm. wardrobe capsule. To the person who invented this or created this or made the page that we bought all this from, big shout Shout out to you. I have no idea who you are. <laughs> we don't know where this idea, like, concept came from, but I will... Was this, like, a Pinterest post or something? I, I think it was, and we totally trusted it blindly, and it worked out. So 100%. Thanks, both that. So, but I will link the post down below, because this person de deserves some credit. Anyways, thank you guys so, so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video and would like to see more, make sure to click the subscribe button, and we will see you guys in the next one. Bye! Bye.